Now, if we're talking about what's in this material world, and it seems to us, by strong inference, that the material world cannot provide the answer, then it must be that something outside the material world is the cause. And what's, what can be outside of time, space, energy, and matter? Yeah, I, something I, I, that I, is considered, yeah, con by, by, yeah. by definition, supernatural, not as yeah. in, not yeah, nature, I, I don't think, I don't supernatural. Think we yeah. Okay. I I, I I I see where you're coming from, and I don't think you need to go okay. any further because I know uh, what you're going to say. Um, again, I would take issue with the fact that you say that um, science has um, approved or even effectively proved the existence of something mm -hmm. supernatural. Because uh, to start with, science by definition wouldn't dream of doing so. But I think one of the um, but I, I would I, say that I, science has say if, inadvertently if, if done you, so. If you have if you have a particular scientific paper that you think does actually say this is proof of God, then do tell me about it. But you but, won't be able to do so. But, but you don't expect no such a thing to even be published if one did, would you? Well, are you saying there's a conspiracy to uh, keep it quiet? Are, are you saying there wasn't a coup in the 1800s to remove creationists from the scientific community promoted by uh, several people who existed uh, at the time of Charles Darwin and, and century, uh, the decade or two afterward? They didn't continuously slander creationists in the newspapers, and Charwin, uh, Charles Darwin didn't have his bulldog who wrote articles for the Times under the premise that it was actually an author of the newspaper that wrote it. And you, All these things, you're not aware of these things, right? I, I, I am not aware of them, and I, I, I okay. fear that we are likely to uh, be moving into um, territory that uh, is, is somewhat off-topic. So um, if, if I can, because you, you've raised three points that I was seeking to address, and we're only halfway through point one. Um, so if we could try and, um, uh, and stick on topic. Um, in relation to um, um, science and its inability to explain certain things, um, uh -huh. I, I, fully, I fully accept that. I, I, I don't accept that uh, science has proved the existence of a god. Uh -huh. Now, I, I also would go as far as to say this. Um, there are many things that um, I would love to be able to understand uh, about um, the science, and uh, I regrettably suspect that I, I, I simply do not have the mental capacity to do so. Um, and one example I will give is um, I did a lecture given by Lawrence Krauss, um, A Universe from Nothing. It's mm -hmm. readily available on the internet. <laughs> from nothing. Uh, he is a, a theoretical physicist, and um, he gives a, a very entertaining um, and interesting uh, lecture uh, of about an hour. Um, uh, as I say, it's readily available on YouTube. Now, uh -huh. um, the conclusions that he reaches are, um, I, I suspect, beyond my ability to comprehend. And I suspect, uh -huh. without being uh, willfully uh, disrespectful to you, I suspect they're also beyond your ability to comprehend. Uh -huh. Much in the same way as when Einstein came out with his um, uh, general theory of relativity and subsequently his special uh -huh. theory of relativity, uh, I, I, there are many people, I mean, he was asked at the time, um, you know, oh, I understand, I think what journalist put it to him, I understand there are very few people that um, uh, actually understand your theory, and I think the answer was something along the lines of, um, uh, if there is someone else in the world that understands it, I've yet uh -huh. to meet them. Now, the mathematics yeah. behind his um, uh, yeah. equations uh, is actually relatively straightforward. I can do the maths, but I can't do the mental conjuring to, that, that, that um, allows me to fully comprehend, you know, the, for example, the um, time travel or, or, or the inability of time travel, the, um, the, the twin uh, paradox, uh, things like that. I've, I've thought about it, I've gone through the maths and I can see how the maths works, uh -huh. but I can't mentally conjure up this thing. So I suspect that the human mind in many regards hasn't got the capacity to understand things. And I do suspect uh, to a degree that um, this, this inability to understand and the desire uh, for answers, because we are inherently curious beings, I think that there is a, uh, an argument to say that um, people do grasp onto any sort of answer that they feel comfortable with. And I, I suspect that that, to a large degree, is what is going on with religion. I think religion, if you look at its foundations, um, 
it, it, it came about in virtually every single civilization in the world. Now, I understand that your view of civilization is more restricted in um, so far as time is concerned. But every single uh, civilization, except, I think, one recorded instance of a tribe in, I think, East Africa, they have all created some sort of deity or some sort of god or gods. Uh, I think this is a capacity of the human mind. Um, and I think it was probably done to try and answer questions. And I, I go back to the point that, in my view, I find such answers to be unsatisfactory. And I, I'm much more happy to live with doubt and uncertainty yep. than I am with trying to conjure up some sort of belief in an entity for which there is absolutely no evidence, in my view, whatsoever, and which I can see has been created um, purely to answer those questions. Now, th those are my points in relation yep. to the first point you made. I will, if you like, go on to uh, point two, but if you want to come back on, me on, on anything I've just said. Well, yes. Um, I, I, first off, God is not conjured. A man didn't conjure God. God introduced him to man, himself well, to man. Well, that's, that's your belief. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. And uh, I have seen Dr. Krauss uh, speak, and he states, uh, universe actually, literally, literally, yes, uh, literally nothing, a universe from literally nothing, which in itself yeah. is absurd insanity. Well, you see, you say yeah, absurd. Uh, uh, yes, it is, because if nothing exists, what can come from it? Well, he explains why something can come from nothing. No, that's not possible. For if if we well, just go by the now, that. wait a minute, DPR. I'm giving my response. If I'm sorry. if if something exists, then something exists. If nothing exists, nothing exists. It's not rational to say that something comes from nothing. Nothing can come from nothing. Period. So right. this man's no, statement is completely absurdity. Uh, and I've seen him in a video explain this. I watched it. He, he mm -hmm. makes this then in, before university students. He says, uh, therefore, a universe absolutely from nothing. And he laughs, and Richard Dawkins mm -hmm. is standing there next to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've proven there is no God. I see the, the, the garbage no, no, look on their face. I know, but DPR, I can that. infer what, what, what the, what's going through their mind and their heart when they say these things and the big smile on their face and the pride they feel. I understand exactly where they're coming from. I've seen it many times. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it is preposterous, and it is an absolutely philosophical failure to say the universe could come from nothing. Something right. had to right. have caused it because, wait a minute, now this is a contradiction of the materialist worldview again. He contradicts himself when he says this because he believes he's a materialist. He believes there is no supernatural, there is only nature, and therefore something material, something physiological, something that conforms only to physics, that it's not something outside of time, space, energy, and matter, is the cause of whatever this universe is. So therefore, whatever it was had to also be nature. And that means time, space, energy, and matter. So he's contradicting himself when he says that only time, space, and... Uh, all right, now it's time uh, to get rid of this person. Yes, please do. I, say, I can't see what okay. you're saying. So, so, so um, I mean, to say that the universe came from nothing is is hypocrisy if one is a materialist because it's claiming that ma nothing existed and everything came from it. So there was no material cause. But yet I'm a materialist and I believe only in material cause. Therefore, and there was nothing, nothing outside of time and space and energy matter. You see, it's it's a actually a materialist's attempt to hang on to the supernatural as a cause while claiming that only material cause could could have produced it. It's ridiculous, it's hypocrisy, and it's, uh, it's complete philosophical me, failure. It, 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 I would never say that something can come from nothing without positing that something supernatural could be the cause of it. You see? Yeah. I mean, but, but, but that's exactly what he's doing. You know. 